<clears throat> Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great day for you so far. I'm Julien and I'm super excited to be here today. I'd like to, to talk to you about what is WIT, what does it do, and how you can use it. Then we'll highlight the challenges you might face when reaching a global audience. And finally, we'll talk about you, the developer community. Let's dig in. So first, what is WIT? Before understanding what WIT is, you first need to understand what natural language processing is. Natural language processing, NLP, or natural language understanding, NLU, is a set of artificial intelligence, AI, techniques that deal with the interactions between humans and machines. In particular, NLP is helpful to extract useful information out of raw inputs, such as speech or text. This is best illustrated with an example. I'd like to book a table for four people next Tuesday around 6 p.m., please. Between you and I, we directly understand the meaning of this sentence. But for a machine, this is a random string of characters like any other. As a developer, you care about getting structured information so that you can properly handle a request like this. In this particular example, you need to understand that the intent behind the message is about making a reservation and not playing tennis, for example. You need to know how many people the reservation is for and when is the date, date and time. Once you get this information, your code can actually do the, the reservation, provided that there's still a table available next Tuesday around 6 p.m. NLP is powerful. It allows you to talk to a machine without acting like you're talking to a machine. Each piece of useful extracted information, we call this an entity. So now that you know what NLP is, you'll be pleased to learn that WIT is a free NLP service for developers. Using WIT, you can use the web UI and train your own entities, and then query the runtime API for production traffic by annotating a few examples in the WIT UI, you're actually training machine learning models on the fly, and then these models get available for serving production traffic under a minute. Now, how many of you are Messenger developers? Uh, there's a few here. So if you're a Messenger developer, you already have an integration with a Receive API, so that each time somebody sends a message to your page, the message gets forwarded to your code so that you can actually handle that automatically. Now, each time you get a text, you will need to call with AI to get the useful information. So this might add some latency. This is why we also launched uh, an integration with Messenger platform called Built-in NLP, which allow you to directly get the useful extracted information directly in the payload of the request. You can, you can link uh, a WIT app to your page and get the extracted entities from the WIT app to your code. Built-in NLP comes with uh, default models to handle common entities like dates and times, locations, or even the greeting intent. This is available in 23 languages, but for other languages, or if you already have a build, uh, your own WIT app and want to use it directly, you can link also your custom WIT app. If you don't have a WIT app yet, but you, you want to start automate your customer traffic, you can link, create a new WIT app from scratch that would use all your previous page conversations to quickly bootstrap new NLP models and automate uh, customer support within a few minutes. Now, this is great. So we've seen what WIT is. We've seen what built-in NLP is, like the integration with Messenger platform. WIT and built NLP handle many languages, so you could set your own WIT app for each language you want to support. But how would you figure out to which WIT app do you need to send the request to? Um, you, you might, to go around this problem, you might have created different pages or different WIT app for each language you want to support. And then you rely on the, on the people to find the right page uh, and hopefully send a message uh, using their own language to the right page. 
Um, now, handling multiple pages like that is, is a bit of a hassle, and it also weakens your online presence um, and your brand. And let's be honest, people might not directly find the right page, and maybe Spanish people send a, a message to your Italian app. So let's see what would happen if, I, if, I, if my English restaurant page receives messages in an unexpected language. What could go wrong? I want to book a table for Saturday in Dutch. Certainly. When is the reservation for? So looking at the payload of the request, we see that the intent gets properly classified. My English classifier found that the user is actually looking to make a reservation. This is because this sentence is very close to the English one. Now, it didn't capture the date time. Saturday or Saturday, even if it's closed, because my English with app use different models to handle date time. As a result, the person needs to repeat themselves. This Saturday, May 4th. Sorry, I can't make reservations in the past. What happened here? Here, because we're using an English app using the default uh, American US uh, daytime format, which is first the month and then the day, parses four, five, May, 5th, May 4th as April 4th, 5th. As a result, the bot is trying to be as polite as it can, but it's not helpful. Let's go over a second example. Quelles sont les options de livrare pour Roumanie de Minatza? What are the delivery options for tomorrow morning in Romanian? We open every night from 6 p.m. to 1 a.m. In this case, my English classifier classified that uh, delivery option request as an opening hours request. So my bot is sending the wrong answer. Let's go over a third example. Êtes-vous ouvert demain midi vers 13 heures? Are you open tomorrow noon around 1 p.m. in French? We do offer delivery. We can certainly accommodate 13 people. What happened? So not only the intent got misclassified, but if we look uh, at, at the payload of the response, we don't see any daytime because my English classifier didn't find the midi vers 13 heures uh, as tomorrow noon around 1 p.m. as a daytime. Instead, the number entity kicked in uh, and parsed 13 as a number, which I'm actually using to figure out what is the party size for my restaurant reservation. So this is why I'm super excited to announce that starting today, we're launching a language identification API. Now, using Get Language API, you can send a message and figure out what is the correct language, reroute to the correct WIC app, and get the correct entities back in the response, and gracefully, hopefully, handle the user uh, request. Now, once we have a Gate Language API and a Messenger platform integration, does that mean that we need to issue two more requests, like once to de detect the language and then another one to get the proper entities? Well, no, that, 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 would be, that would actually defeat the purpose. So we're also launching a full integration with Messenger platform so that you can enable for each language you want to support, you can link it to a WIT app in the same language. As a result, each time you receive a message, we launch a language identification, detect the, la the language, find the correct with app, use that to extract the proper entities in using the correct model, and send everything back in the payload to your backend, uh, which includes the detected locals as well as the, as the correct entities. So let's see how we could have better handled the previous situations using language identification. If your bot doesn't handle the top language yet, you can still handle it uh, more appropriately than before, and it's a great opportunity for it to learn. I'm sorry, I'm not yet able to understand French. Can you please reformulate in Spanish or English? Now, if you do have language support, but not full, fully in uh, internalization support of the responses, your bot will be able to handle any language you added suppo support for, even though it will still answer always in English. Still way better than the previous situation. And finally, if you do have full internalization support for all the responses, 
look at that. Your bot is able to fluently uh, talk in all the languages you had this support for. Let's talk a little bit about the developer community. When WITAI joined Facebook four years ago, it was a growing community of 5,000 developers. Today, with AI comes more than 195,000 developers on the platform, building apps and experiences in 132 languages. This, this global audience is amazing. Thank you so much, community, for being part of this journey with us. You help in proving the built-in support uh, of the entities in, in many different languages. By, by validating samples, by providing even new language support in Duckling, or open source parser, which, which we use to handle dates and times, amounts of money, and other entities. Please keep opening up uh, issues on GitHub. It's awesome feedback, and we use that to improve our product. We hear you. Now, we really love to hear about all the experiences you get to build as a developer. So please, uh, hit up the latest HTTP docs and play with the new Get Language API. Stay up to date by following our blog on Medium. Go to the developer settings of the Messenger platform and add multilingual support for your bot. Finally, provide pull requests for your own language in Duckling so we can integrate it in WIT and support you better. We'll be at the AI booth right behind this uh, today and tomorrow. Uh, we're looking forward to hear you all, uh, hear what you're building, and uh, provide some demos or just chat. So thanks a lot. Join us. <laughs>